So welcome everybody. Welcome to the Energy Play Shop. My name is Winnie and I have a few people joining me this evening. So um, let me just go to share screen so I can show you um, a few things, which is how the, the flow for this play shop is going to be. Uh, let's go all the way here. Up. So here we are. Um, so for the rest, this is kind of how this play shop is going to flow. First, we are in the welcoming part already. So this is just to, um, and then after that, we're going to have a short meditation, which is a presence meditation. Because when we're playing with energy, energy is subtle. So it's not something that you can um, like, it's not something that you, that is, you, have to, you can touch. So presence is rather important when, you, when we want to play with energy. So that's why I want to start with a short presence meditation. So everybody that is um, coming into this play shop would be able to get present and start to be easier to feel the energy. And then we'll uh, talk about how to feel energy, what are some of the, the, the pitfalls and what are the ways that you can um, kind of get better mm -hmm. at being able to feel mm -hmm. energy. We, everyone can feel energy, but we're all at, at different um, levels or, or sensitivity in terms of feeling energy. Some are, non-existent and then some are very um, sensitive. However, no matter how sensitive you are, um, you can always expand. So I will give some exercise that if you want, if you practice, then you will get better at it. And then we'll talk about how to grow your energy um, because in, subsequent sessions, I actually want to start talking a little bit more about how to heal yourself and, and you need higher and more energy. You need to grow your energy first before you can actually do things like heal yourself. And, and you heal yourself first before you even want to go into healing other people. So that's, so that's kind of the, the, the play shop part of it. And then I'll end with just a, a group energy clearing meditation. So then let's, um, let's just actually go right into the, um, let's go right <clears throat> into the, presence meditation right now. So um, I actually just want to mute everybody first. And then, and then I will unmute you all and then we can um, come back when the meditation is over. Okay, so let's just take a deep breath in. And then simply let go. And then take another deep breath in. And let go. Take one more deep breath in. And let it all go. Continue to breathe according to your own rhythm with the intention of elongating your breath. If, you, if it's comfortable for you, then try the five count in and five count out breathing. If it's not comfortable, then just um, go up to as many counts. Uh, three count in or four counts in. And the what's important is that 
if you breathe in three counts, then you breathe out at three counts as well, so that the breathing in and the breathing out becomes rhythmic. So continue to follow whatever rhythm is most comfortable for you. And also call back in all parts of yourself. During the day, you are busy doing a lot of other things. But in this moment, we want to call back all of our attention. So just hold this intention that I want to call back all of my attention to myself in this moment. Call back all parts of myself. Call back all of my attention. And use your breath to assist you in coming present to yourself. Pay attention to your breathing as though you can actually feel the air and the energy that you're breathing in to go to all parts of your body. Make sure your attention is actually focused on your body in this moment. And then as you become more present to your body, then actually imagine that you can move your attention inside your body. And allow yourself to become present in your own heart. And as you become present in your own heart, then set the intention that you want to raise your own frequency to at least five to eight. Five to eight is the frequency of unconditional love. So set that intention with every breath that you breathe in, allow your own frequency, no matter where it is, to be at least five to eight. Higher is better, but at least five to eight. Five to eight. Continue to repeat five to eight every now and then to remind yourself, to remind your body that this is where you want your frequency to be at least five to eight. And when you feel yourself calming down and becoming present to yourself, and you can actually feel your heart expanding outward because your frequency is at least five to eight. And at five to eight, you have a tendency 
to have an open heart. So when you feel this opening of your heart, then come all the way back into the room without changing your state, the state that you're in, in this moment. Okay, great. So I trust that you all feel a shift in your state. So you, um, you can unmute yourself now if you have something you want to say. Anytime you, you want to say. I do feel. Okay, great. Thank and you. I was yawning like I clearing something. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you can start playing, you're already uh, moving some yeah. energy. That's a good sign. Okay. So as I mentioned earlier, we are now going to talk about how to feel energy. So how to feel energy. We actually naturally, and when we were young, when we were born, we all can feel energy. It is just that as we grow older, we, um, we become more distracted. We become more disconnected with our innate with this innate ability that we have of feeling energy um not everyone get disconnected or distracted uh, but a lot of people i would say most meaning more than half of humanity usually get distracted and disconnected from this their ability to feel energy so they um and also, I think a lot of the emphasis is, is emphasizing on uh, things that you can see, things that you can touch. So material things is really the things that we focus more of our attention. So we don't, we're not naturally or we're not always trained to um, be paying attention to subtle energy because energy is subtle it's it's not something that is um it's something that you pay it when you pay attention you can feel and and but it's so easy to um not pay attention because we there are so many things to distract us so disconnection is just meaning that we um for example, uh, a lot of the times, if we have a trauma, if we go through a trauma, a trauma could mean um, a lot of things. So emotional um, trauma could be um, also physical trauma. So or let's say something as simple as you, when you're young a lot of times like when you bang your you, when you um let's say hit your head somehow um when you fall on the ground then that's that can be a trauma as well so when we have certain traumas then we become disconnected so and um so when we're disconnected we we're not all our soul is not always in our body so that's why for the presence meditation it's really calling all parts of ourselves in and calling all of our attention back to ourselves and when we when we do that bit of um paying attention calling all parts of our attention back in we kind of set ourselves in the the right frame of mind to be able to feel energy. And the other thing that um, makes it harder for us to feel energy is our beliefs. Um, a lot of the times we are not trained or, or we are not um, accustomed to believe that things that you cannot see are actually real because, well, you cannot see it. So um, how can it be real? We So that can be something that um, we have in our belief system that if we can't see it, then it's not there, it's not real. 
So energy, even if we cannot see it, we can actually feel it. And um, even if we don't see it, however, we can experience it. It is really the experience of energy that we um, have from time to time, we'll be able to experience energy that actually let us know that it is there. It's just that most of the, because we cannot see it, not everyone can see it and not everyone can feel it. So a lot of the times we um, kind of have the belief that, oh, it's, it's not real, but it is very real. Actually, we are all energy, even things that you can feel like this body that when you when you feel when when you put your hands together and you push against you can actually feel but even this even matter is also simply energy but at a much denser form and the more attention we um we pay and the more we um readjust or we introduce our body to pay attention to subtle energy, not, not, not just the um, dense energy, but also the subtle energy, then we will begin to um, get back to being able to feel energy easily. So one of the, the, the best way to um, start to, to initiate or, or to, to train yourself into feeling energy again is to really activate your body. So very simple. Um, I would use hands because um, hands are a good way to start. So when you put your hands together, you just rub it. You rub it until you can feel heat. So rub it, rub it, rub it until you can feel heat. So when you do that, you actually attract, you are increasing the energy right at the, the your palm. So once you stop, you can still feel your arms kind of uh, there is a um, a feeling there i feel the, a tingling but uh, each one is is kind of um, unique so you may feel something else so however once you rub your hands a little bit you kind of already activated and sensitized your hands, so then you can start to play with. So what I do is I, so right now my hands are about maybe two inches apart. So I would start to slowly pull it apart, not so slowly pull it apart. And stop when you stop when you still feel tingling in your arms. So let's say it, it is maybe um, about six, seven inches now. So then stop. And now try to have your palms come together again, but very slowly. So don't try to actually come too much together, but just come together maybe half an inch and you kind of pulsate. So come, let it come in half an inch and then go out again, half an inch and then go out again. So when you kind of pulse, do this pulse, try to see if your palms can feel that there is something in between your palms. It's rather subtle, so don't, don't expect it to be something very um, like hot and noticeable, but try to feel that there is kind of like a, a very subtle, balloon a very soft balloon between your palms as you try to pulse your palms in and out feel that energy 
But it does get lesser, yeah. It's not as strong. As okay, if you're not as, as strong, then rub your hands again. Oh. It's, yeah, it's, so everyone is different. Um, so if, by rubbing your hands, though, you are really um, activating your hands again. So, yep. And so your hands would be more sensitive. So then you do this again. You feel, you're trying to feel that something in between your palms as you gently pulse in and out. And also one of the other things that you can do is to synchronize it with your breathing. So when you breathe in, so move your palms out and as you breathe out, have it come back together. See if you can feel that. So when you do this a couple of times, you will start to be able to get more sensitive to that subtle energy that is in between your palms. So does that be, everybody feel that yet? Anybody don't feel anything at all? So nobody say anything, though I said, then I take it that you can all feel something. You can all at least start to feel something. Is that right? Yeah, I feel like um, when, when I move my hands, I feel the tingling sensation, what you told about your hands at the beginning. At the beginning, I felt just warmness. And then I start to feel. Okay, great. That's a nice beginning. Okay. It feels like there's a pressure there. Yep, there is. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so the next exercise. Now, now that you you are kind of more you you can start to feel the energy. Now you want to play with it because this is a play shop. So what I want you to do is. Um, pick a hand. Um, usually, there is one of your palm would be more sensitive than the others. Which one it is, it's, um, I'm not completely uh, certain. For myself, I know my left palm is more sensitive than my right palm. So meaning um, this one is more sensitive. So you may have to test it out yourself first time you may not know so you may want to just start off with your left and then if you don't feel anything then go to your right because um, usually for each person there is one hand that is more sensitive than the others than the other one so so what I want you to do is the sensitive palm stay in place and then the, so the next one the the other hand you kind of use your finger just to draw a circle into the palm of your sensitive hand. See if you can feel some energy movement in your sensitive hand. I feel like a wave. Good, you feel something. Excellent. And I go very close. That's okay. As you become more sensitive, you can start to become further and further apart and you can still feel that something is moving. So I that's feel a little tingling. Okay, good. So it's just, okay. it is just noticing. Yeah, I can feel the circles. Okay, wonderful. Okay, now let's make it a little bit more challenging. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Actually, I want you to do the, uh, so switch your hands. So um, now I'm going to use, I'm going to use my left finger to draw circles and then use my, my less sensitive palm to see if the other hand can feel something. I feel something, but less than on the, on the right hand. Okay, that's good. It's good noticing. So you notice a difference. Mm -hmm. So now you know which one is your sensitive hand. I feel it uh, on the right side, but I feel more energy in the pointing finger. Okay. Like there is actually energy in their finger. Yeah. <laughs> There is, there is definitely. Okay, cool. Okay, so now you found out which one is your sensitive palm. So, so another exercise then, the third exercise is really to, um, now the exercise is instead of using a finger is to use your eye. So look into your sensitive palm. and see if you can feel something. So look at your palm, see if you can feel the energy. So when you look at your palm, have the intention that you wanna send energy there. Send their energy there for maybe a second or two and then look away and then see if there's any difference between when you're looking at your palm and you are not looking at your palm. Yeah, it intensifies when you look at it. Um, you 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 feel anything or not? Yeah, the when you are looking at the palm, it intensifies, and when you look away, it gets a little less. Wow, cool! That's very good. <laughs> I don't feel. I don't feel that when I look at it. When I put finger, I feel it, but when I look at it, okay. I, so. So rub your hands again. So sensitize your hands. Okay. So that you're so see if that makes any difference. And then now you look at your hand, the palm of your sensitive hand, and you look away. And then you look at it again. See if you feel a difference between looking at or not. I do feel different, but very, very light. That's, that's okay. It starts very light. And then the more you practice, the more sensitive you get. So now you know that just by your intention, you can actually shoot energy anywhere you want. So that, that's just to let you know that it, 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 it can be done. That's what I mean. Um, I've heard that, uh, you know, expression, put your inner vision in your hands. And I didn't know what does it mean. That's what it mean to put energy, right, in your hands by looking. Yeah. And, and if you want to take it even further, is even without looking, just thinking. Thinking of sending energy into your hand. Yeah. And then just think of popcorn so that you kind of cut that. And then think of sending energy into your sensitive hand. See if you feel any difference. So you don't even need to look at your hand, you're just thinking. Subtle, yeah. It's very subtle, but it like the more you practice, the, the, the more you can actually sense it. Okay. 
So far, so good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, great. I start to feel even tingling in my hands. Ah, nice. In my fingers. Okay. So, so now let's let's talk a little bit about how to grow your energy because um like being able to sense energy, be sensitive to energy is good, but you know, just sensing energy that doesn't, it's not, it gets old fast. When you can start to grow your own energy, number one, you, um, you can actually start to increase. So imagine when you can actually increase your energy to a level where you can simply think of a person and they will know that you are actually thinking of them. So, which means that when you want something, when you, when you put a wish into the universe, more people will be able to get your um, wish. And if it resonates with them, then they will, you, you magnetize them to you. You attract them to you. So that's, the, the, that's one of the benefits of growing your own energy is that you can get to the part where you can become more you can do more because when you have more energy, you can do more work. Work meaning stuff, things. You can do things like healing somebody. You can heal yourself and you can also use your energy to heal others as well. So this is the benefit of really um, growing your energy. Can I ask a question? Absolutely, yes. So... Um... In this case, if I want to send energy to someone, I have to think about this person and, and imagine that I send my energy. Am I losing this my energy when I do that? Um, let me see. Are you losing your energy? Not really. It depends on your, your my, my belief is that you don't lose it. It simply means your energy can go, can be more, um, can have more impact. What if I'm gonna do a face massage for someone and send my energy in my hands? Am I gonna lose my energy? When, when it's going to be like contact, physical? Mm -hmm. No. Um, there are several, you can, but um, the way that I'm going to teach you, you won't. Because when you, the reason why you would be depleted, yes, you are, you are sending energy out. But if you are connected, if you're connected to, because you have, access to infinite source of energy and when you are connected to infinite source you will never deplete yourself you are sending energy but you won't deplete yourself because as soon as you send out it comes back to you so but if you are disconnected then you will deplete yourself so that yes it's possible but if you do it properly you will never deplete yourself so that is my answer Thank you. So when you're saying you're connected to the five to eight energy, like um, that... five to eight is one. Five to eight is the. For example, yeah, like is the quality of quality. the energy. Is the okay. quality of the energy? There is a quality, and then there is a quantity. So what I want to talk about next is really something that is called, um, okay, hang on. Let me actually just share something with you. I want to share screen to talk about this next part. So then, um, yeah. okay. So our human energy field. So this is really our human energy field, is that our energy goes beyond our physical body. And it's, and the energy is 
is looping around in a toroidal shape. And different organs, like organs within our body, have their own toroidal shape. The, the heart itself has its own toroidal shape. Your brain function has its own toroidal shape. And your whole body has, um, your whole body also has its own toroidal shape of energy moving around it. So this is kind of a very um, simplified form of your own um, energy field. And then the, to simplify it even more is if you can think of the, the white part there in the middle is where your body is, your energy field actually is much, much wider. It is just that when it is the further away from your physical body, the more subtle the energy becomes your own energy becomes. You are actually connected to everything, every and absolutely everything. And if you think of these, um, this light blue is actually connected to infinite space as well. So we are connected, all connected. And it's because of that. So. Our body, our physical body is, and also our consciousness is, it's, cre it's really part of this, this network of energy that surrounds our physical body. There's a lot of energy around us. It's just that most of the time we, we have, when we focus on um, matter, when we focus on things that we can touch, things that we can see, when we are in that mindset, we kind of cut ourselves off to just the energy within our body. And when we start to look into energy itself and, be, and go the, the, the extra mile to start to see things that are more subtle, we can start to reconnect ourselves with all the energies that are around us. So the way that I was taught is that um, with, within your body, like, well, okay, how, how should I say it? Um, within your body, um, there you have, like, I think it's the, um, the tip where your crown is, and then also where your um, there is an energy tube. There is an energy tube that goes through you. If you look at this again. There's an energy tube that is within your body that goes all the way through your body. And um, let's get back to this one. So this energy tube, this energy tube is actually connects you back to earth as well, because we are, our consciousness is connected to earth so there our energy uh, this this energy tube is actually within our consciousness and uh, this energy field is actually there is a, a it's called a prana tube prana just just means um chi this tube that goes through our body and it's actually extend way beyond our body and it's connecting to earth as well. And it's also connected to the sun. And from the sun, the sun connects us to the creator source. So the sun is actually simply a, a step down version of the creator source. So 
one of the meditation or intention that you can do in order to reconnect yourself to infinite energy is to connect to Mother Earth and to Father Sky, which is the sun. So a lot of the times when I do meditation, I would connect to Earth and to the sun. And that's because our energy is actually all connected to Earth and, and also to the sun and through the sun to the creator source as well. So that's what I mean by when you are connected. So one of the things that I want to, to um, show you all is simply to, with intention. Okay, so with intention is to simply imagine that you see that prana tube within your body. You see that prana tube within your body. And every time you breathe in, imagine that you, from the top of your head, you are connected to the sun and through the base of your sacrum, your spine, you are connected to Mother Earth. And every time you breathe in, you're bringing in energy, both from the earth and from the sun. So just breathe. This is called the unity breath. Unity because you are connected. You're connected to the, the earth, mother earth, you connect to father sky. So earth is the playground we own and father sky is simply our connection to the universal creator. So when you use your breath and you start to visualize that energy tube within yourself and you breathe in. You will start to feel energy, like really energized. Like for me, I start to feel heat because for me that is how um, I feel energy. So how do you feel now after breathing in through your energy tube, your, your prana tube? I just feel more peaceful. Good. That is... Okay. So any questions so far? So as you breathe in, do you feel anything coming in through the top of your head or through the, your, your feet? Actually, yes, I feel some breeze here, but I don't feel anything from my, head, uh, from my feet. Okay. Um, you may want to stand up if you want to see if that makes a difference because when you sit down you kind of you know cut your own energy a little bit so as you stand you kind of feel if that makes any difference yeah 
my feet become heavy. Okay. Great. Okay. So it's good that you know um, you feel something coming in from the top of your head because it's it's a start. So as we clear more of your energies. Because um, sometimes you may have energy that is stuck in your body, so you don't quite feel like from it. Actually, energy is all, it's kind of moving around your body. So it depends on how sensitive you are as well. So um, it's easy to use our hands to become more to sensitize our hands. And the other thing is now to sensitize our body as well. So, but what you need to do is simply pay attention. Okay. So now let's, um, and let's move on to the next thing. So first, I, so I just talked about the, the unity breath, which is, um, connecting, reconnecting, make sure that when you are doing this exercise is you are connected to earth and you're connected to the sun. So unity breath, um, breath meaning you are connecting to the, the, the energies that's coming from earth and coming from the sun as well. So it's coming from both pose of your body so when you pay more attention to energy coming in then you know that you are always replenishing your own energy no matter how much you send energy out you can always replenish yourself okay and the next thing is I'm going to talk about is how to clear yourself because when you the energy it, um, when you start to be, pay more attention to that prana tube within yourself at some point you when you become sensitive enough you would kind of notice that the energy flowing through your body there may be some places where it's not as flowing as others. So how do you clear up your own energy? How do you clear energy, any um, kind of stuck energy within your own energy field? So the next thing I wanna talk about is um, clearing. So how do you clear? Within our body, because we on earth, we have, we work with five elements. So there is air, there is fire, there is water, earth. Earth includes minerals as well. And um, well, I kind of blaze through those energies, but um, air is plasma energy as well. So fire is, is really um, quick transformation. Water can mean all liquids, not just H2O. And then earth is minerals and like earth, earth itself. And then there is ether. Ether is really the, um, the underlying elements that unites all the other elements. So ether is everything and everywhere. So when you balance your body, because your body is, your own body is energy and energy is really a combination of these five elements. 
So you use the, um, the easiest, the simplest is to use these elements to rebalance yourself. So there are five elements. I would suggest that you start with fire and earth. Why? Because our body has a lot of minerals in it. So um, fire, but earth itself is not a very flowing energy. Earth is a very stabling kind of energy. So you need something else. Um, so I would suggest fire. So fire and earth together. So um, if you want to be really, I would say very um, um, methodical at it is imagine using 50-50. So 50% fire energy, 50% earth energy. So use that combination first. And then, because everyone's body is different. So I can't really, I don't know. I can't tell you which combination is the best for you but you can test it on yourself. So start with 50-50. So 50% fire energy, 50% earth energy. So what you do is you simply imagine this combination of fire and earth energy is coming in to your body through the, the soles of your feet. It's coming in. So every time you breathe in through your prana tube, imagine that you're bringing in that energy in. Can I ask a question? Sure. <clears throat> How you imagine fire energy? Um, you've seen a fire, right? Mm -hmm. So just hold that, that image. image. Yeah. So fire, you've seen fire, you've seen earth. So just imagine that. Or the other thing is, um, remember, uh, so imagine lava. So lava is really um, earth that is so hot that it becomes liquid. So you can you can imagine lava as well. Okay, lava that has the components of fifty percent fire energy, fifty percent earth energy. Okay, so just imagine lava. The lava energy that's coming into your body as you breathe in through this prana tube and allow that body to go all the way up to the top of your head. And then the intention is that as you allow it to leave, whatever it is that does not support your body in this moment, allow it to leave. So that is the, that's one way of clearing your body with the elements. So let's, uh, let's, let's just do a couple of minutes of that, okay? So I'm just gonna guide all of you through that and see how you feel. Okay, so just imagine yourself breathing in first. So breathing in and just imagine that prana tube that's in your body and you're simply breathing in and out. And relax your body. And just know that this is energy. You're playing with energy. and simply notice how your body feels in this moment. Just 
do a quick scan from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. See how your own body feels. Very quick scan. And when you're done with that, then start to play with the this elements, element of fire and earth. So 50% fire, 50% earth. Imagine this lava-like energy with 50% fire and earth. And each time you breathe in through your prana tube, you are bringing this energy in from your feet. Allow the energy to go all the way up to your knees, all the way up to your hip area, your stomach, all the way up your lungs area, your whole torso, all the way up to your shoulders, your neck, all the way up to your head. And the intention is to use this earth and fire energy to balance anything that is out of balance within your body. And whatever it is that is not what you need in this moment, and each time as you breathe out, allow those imbalance or excess energy to leave your body. Whatever it is that is too much, or maybe is somehow throwing you out of balance, then you can breathe it out, let it all go. And just feel this earth and fire energy leaving your body, whatever it is that is not serving your body in this moment, allow it to leave. And whatever it is that your body needs, whether it is minerals or some fire energy, then your body is able to keep whatever it needs and let go of whatever does not support your body in this moment. Now, just do a quick scan from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet and feel how your body feels now. Is it feeling better or worse than before? If it is feeling better, then do this again. If it is not doing as well as before, <clears throat> then you know that your body needs a different combination. So the next time when you use this fire and earth combination again, then just ask. Ask your body to select the perfect combination of these two elements to support your body in this moment. And then allow that perfect combination to come inside your body again coming in through your feet, then moving up your body to your knees, your hips, your stomach area, then to your upper torso, all the way to your shoulders, your neck, and then all the way up to the top of your head. And 
and just relax your body as much as possible with the intention that whatever your body needs, your body will keep whatever does not support your body or is in excess, then your body will be able to send it back to Mother Earth. And allow yourself to feel this energy leaving you. And then come all the way back into your room. And just check. How is your body now? Is it doing better? How are you feeling? Feeling more balanced? I feel more balanced and I feel that energy start to move up and down. It was stuck first, but at the end it start to move up and down. Good. Thank you. I would also do, um, actually I want to do, you can do a water one as well. Because water is also a cleansing energy. Um, there are five elements. So usually with earth, you have to either, you have to use fire with it. Because earth itself, as I mentioned, it does not flow very well. So you need to add the fire element. I would not suggest just using fire element because Theoretically, you can, but unless you really know yourself very well, then because fire energy um, acts very quickly. So I would definitely not suggest you to use simply just fire energy to balance yourself because it's, um, if you're not, um, if you don't know your own body very well, you may cause some discomfort. You definitely won't harm yourself too much but you may cause yourself some discomfort because fire energy works very quickly water though it's it's easier um you can just use or i would say gentler not not easier but gentler than fire you can also use fire uh, you can also use water so excuse me water to do this kind of um, clearing as well. There are some things that water will be able to clear that the other elements cannot clear. Same thing with air as well. So with air, um, air is not so easy to feel. So I would suggest using combination of air and water. So it's kind of like a bubbly um, energy to move through that can also clear as well. So different elements, depending on your body, different bodies will respond to different elements. And um, so play with the air, water, fire, earth. Oh, well, okay, fire and earth, not just pure fire. And then, and then do ether. Ether is also very good for clearing out your energy as well. So with ether, it's just, you can use pure ether. So just pure ether, just allow pure ether to come to your body, fill your body up. Whatever it is that your body does not need, just allow it to go. So it's the same thing, the, the same process. So let's Can I ask question. So sure. when you said you do air and uh, water, you have to imagine that it's comes coming from above or from the earth. Good question. I've never thought of that. Um, 
probably you can try both. You can try both ends. I like to do from um, feet up to the head because um, head is usually more um, sensitive or, or, or more important. So start with the with your feet. See if your feet likes that combination of energy. If if it comes through your feet and there's no adverse reaction, then you know that it is safe to pull up to your head. So that's why I will always start from the, the feet. Can you practice it in the shower? You can, definitely. Yeah, you can practice that in the shower. You can practice that anywhere. In a tub, in a tub. In the tub, like, you can practice that even when you're, you know, out in nature and walking in the park, you can do that as well. Yeah, you can definitely, you can practice anywhere. Um, when you're in the shower, though, uh, earth and fire probably is not quite appropriate because then you have the, the water, you actually have in the water element. When you're in the shower, then absolutely you can use the, the water, you can call on the water element because your body is already in a shower. So it's so much um, stronger. You have to imagine like it's going inside and clean. Yes. Yep. So any, any, um, any part of your body that so just yeah so yes element the, the the element of water yeah and one more question what is ether ether is how you can imagine that ether is How, um, what is ether? Ether is space, but it is, but it is, um, it's not empty space. Space is not empty. Space is actually full of things. So that is ether. Full of good energy? It's full of all sorts of energy. It's, it is everything. Ether is everything. Because ether is the binder for all the other elements. So ether is space. <laughs> Sorry, I, it's so how should I say it? According to Google, it says ethers are a class of organic compounds that contain an ether group, an oxygen atom connected to two alkali or aryl groups. Okay, it's um, the way I understand uh, ether. Ether is really pure energy. Either is simply pure energy and it is everywhere and is in between everything. So either is within us, between ourselves, it's everywhere. So nothing, there's either is everything and everywhere. So if it's already inside of us, when we call it, it's just activated. So ether responds uh, just like any other energy re responds to your intention. So it, it is within, yes. However, you, you give it the command, what do you want ether to do? You want either to balance the form.
Okay. Whereas you. the either, um, there's no intention. When you actually call on that, you call on it with an intention. So it, it, is, it responds to your intention. So far so good? Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay, so actually let's try the ether. Let's do uh, just a very short ether balancing. Okay, so let's just do that. So let's just, let's just start by breathing in again and just imagine that prana tube, that energy tube that runs through our body. So just breathe in. And breathe out. Through that prana tube that connects us. And then just do a quick scan of your body from top to bottom. Feel how your body feel in this moment. And then when you have done that quick scan, then with intention, call on the element of ether. Allow as much ether as needed come into your body with each breath that you breathe in. Bring in more of that ether into your body and imagine the ether coming in through your feet all the way to your, your knees and keep on bringing it up all the way to your hip area. Allow it to come in to your stomach, the lower back, and then allow it to come into your upper torso. Allow it to come in too, all the way up to your shoulders up your neck, all the way to the top of your head as well. And allow this ether element to balance your body. Allow your body to take in and hold on to as much ether as it needs and as much of any of the other elements that your body needs. Whatever it is that your body does not need anymore or it's in excess, allow it to leave your body now. As you breathe out, And simply feel and allow this element of ether to balance your body. Taking away and breaking up anything that does not support your body in this moment.
And when you feel your body is more in balance, then come all the way back. And just do another quick scan of your body from top to bottom. And see how your body feels in this moment. Okay. How does it feel? I feel heat with this eater. I, I like my body temperature is up. Very different from earth and fire elements. Yeah, mine too. I felt so much heat. Uh, with with this one, but not before. Okay, so I like either. <laughs> either is good. Uh, you know what? I just feel like the Holy Spirit came and visited us. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but you know, I just feel peace and calm. Not that I'm not in peace and calm, but even more peace and calm. So me too. Thank <laughs> you, Vinny. Okay. It was a great experience. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Winnie. Yeah. Okay, you. welcome. So any other questions? Because uh, I think I think we are pretty good in, in terms of playing with the energy. Can we yeah, do fire and was, water? Clearing was good and eater was good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> we can't use fire and water. Um, fire. No, <laughs> don't no. do fire and water. Fire, okay. like water, extinguish fire. So don't oh, do yeah. fire and water. Yeah, they they don't mix. So don't do that combination. I so mean, water you can use by itself. Water you can use by itself, yes. Air you can use by air. As well. Yeah, or you can combine mm -hmm. with others, but um, not fire and water. Um, I would not recommend it. Let me put it this way. Yeah. There may be special circumstances that it is possible to use, but um, at this level, I would advise against fire and water. Yes, those those two elements they are both um they are both very formidable so okay yeah try to try to use the others and um, there may be special cases i i haven't come across that case yet but um for the earth and fire i was also imagining like a campfire it's on the ground and you're usually sitting with your feet on the ground. Um, I, I also mentioned it's better not to use fire on its own unless you know your body really well. Yeah, no, but it's on earth and fire. Yeah, it's earth. earth and fire is fine. Like that yeah, combination yeah, is okay. Yeah. So uh, when you put it on a campfire, it is like on the earth, like it's on the ground, yeah. Okay, if that, if that visual, if that, um, if that works for you, then, but then you can use that, yeah. Okay, then great, let's- Wait, um, Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank so you. New experience, yeah. End this part. <laughs>